First of all, I'd like to thank several people that without their commitment, their, their, uh, their vision for this, this wouldn't happen. First of all, was Dr. Jeffrey Loudon. Um, without the seed that he planted in us to start this, it would have never come about. So, and I know he would have loved to have been here, but he couldn't today. So our hearts and our prayers are out to him and to thank him for starting this. Uh, number two, I'd like to, I'd like to thank is Jack Madsen. I don't see Jack. I, he's with the Intermountain uh, Wind and Solar, and they're the ones that put the system together and, and gave it to us. So I'd like to thank Jack and his company for doing this for this. Um, must have been hundreds of emails and phone calls. Uh, he and I back and forth and back and forth, and I'm pulling my hair out. Where do I go from here? What do I do? I don't understand this. And calm down. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. So I want to thank Jack, too, for being there for us. Uh, he was just a great support. And then I'd like to thank these four people that are supposed to be with us today. We'll have Pastor John Sandrum. He'll do our dedication for us. Thank you, John. Um, we'll have Susan Sorrell. Soleil. Sorry about that, Susan. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm trying to go really <laughs> too fast. Uh, she's with the Utah Interfaith Power and Light, and we've dealt with Susan before. She's helped us out in the past, and thank you. And uh, Craig Whittison, who will be here, he's supposed to be reading a, a letter from the bishop. Uh, going up from the, uh, from, uh, the Rocky Mountain Center, and if he doesn't make it, Carla Stoker will present that uh, letter. And then I'd like to thank Daniel Armstrong. He's our council member representative from uh, Taylorsville District 5. Thank you, sir. And then we have Lisa Romney. Thank you, Lisa. She's the customer and community manager for Rocky Mountain Power. So uh, they, they, I've asked them to kind of put a couple of words in for us. So with that, we'll get started. Thank you, Pastor. My brothers and sisters, it's a, it's a great day to be able to gather together around the sun, S-O-N, and to be able to gather under every day the sun, S-U-N, which is a gift of the Father, F-A-T-H-E-R, and the Son, S-O-N, and the Spirit, S-P-I-R-I-T. So, Thanks be to God for sunshine. Thanks be to God for the wonderful minds God gives people. I couldn't begin to understand how you transition sunlight coming down. Some of you probably get that, but I, I believe it, but it's kind of like faith. I don't really understand it all the time. But who can transition the sunlight that comes to us from millions of miles away to uh, to produce light for us through the energy system we have and to produce heat and uh, uh, cooling and all that electricity does. Uh, and praise be to God for that basic gift and thanks be to God for creating people who, who uh, have such good minds, also God's gifts, to, to put all of that together. So, let us pray a prayer of dedication for our solar... What's our official name? Our solar power. That good enough? God will get the rest of it. Okay. Okay. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all the gifts of life, and especially today, we thank you for this opportunity to be a part of and for being able to have this solar power to help us in this congregation to be all the more your servants. We pray, O oh Lord, giving you thanks for each person who has been part of this process. We give you thanks for all of creation that enables this. And we ask you, Lord, to hold us in your arms and help us as a congregation to use this wisely and benefit from it so that we might serve you all the more and bring in your love to this community, to this congregation, and dare we to all the world. We now dedicate, O oh Lord, this solar system to you. We pray that it will help us serve you better. We pray that it will help preserve much needed energy in the world around us. And we pray, O oh Lord, that it might be a blessing in multiple ways that we don't even begin to know yet. 
Be with all, Lord, who have been a part of this, and be with each one of your children in all the world. Hold them close in the warmth of your love. Shine the light of your Son, Jesus, and continue, O Lord, this wonderful gift of creation of shining the sun over us, and continue, O Lord, the wisdom of men and women who are able to put this all together to be providing power for our world. In Jesus' name, we dedicate this system. Amen. Can you hear me okay? Really? All right, great. Um, I'm Susan Soleil with Utah Interfaith Power and Light. And I think this is the third time I've been able to actually talk with you. The first time was when we, we um, did an energy audit and we realized that you had a furnace that needed to be replaced badly. And so I had a donor that contributed half of that and I came and talked for a few minutes and you had this beautiful new uh, furnace. But then that, the energy audit and the furnace led us to be thinking about solar panels and um, connected with Mike and you talked to some folks and uh, you applied for the Blue Sky grant and you got it. And then you had to re-roof. And then, I mean, you, you did a lot of things to get here. So congratulations to you. And Utah Interfaith Power and Light was pleased to play a very small role in making it happen. We're so proud of you. What a shining light. What a beacon of hope. And those solar panels, they just call out to you as you drive down the street. They say, it truly is another steeple to God. You are dedicating this church and your values to the service of um, the Great Spirit, the Holy One, who looks after all of us. And you are also reaching out to those who do not have all that we have around the world by using less power and lowering your carbon output. I know it's going to help your budget. I know it's going to help the community know that you're here because it's so loud that you're here. And I'm just so proud of you. So from on behalf of the board and staff of Utah Interfaith Power and Light, thank you for the hard work that you put into making this happen, the money and the sacrifices you put into making this happen, and for being a beacon in Taylorsville. So thank you very much. I was hoping there'd be one more at least. <laughs> I don't know why I got uh, chosen for this. The mayor, I, in fact, I bring to you the commendations of the rest of the council, city of uh, Taylorsville, and from the mayor. The mayor wishes he could be here, and after tomorrow's surgery, I'm sure he's going to really wish he was here. Uh, I woke up from my surgery, the same thing, and wondered, holy cow, what did I do to myself? Uh, he's having his knee operated on tomorrow, and so our prayers will be with him that he'll recover well. Uh, but I'm wondering why he chose me. I was wondering if it's because he saw solar panels on top or, <laughs> or something else. But it is interesting that I was asked to take his place. I've worked with uh, uh, many companies from Tennessee to uh, Nevada in helping churches to get uh, solar panels on their buildings. Uh, I'm a CPA, and I work with other investors that put the money for it, get the, the things and stuff. But uh, beyond that, in Genesis, uh, first chapter, verse 28, it says, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. He gave us dominion over this earth, which charge we must take serious. And therein we have the responsibility to take care of our environment and our air and everything else that we have around us and find new ways. Um, light has many descriptions. It stands for knowledge. It stands for truth. And today, for this congregation, it stands for power. Power without limits. 
well beyond my understanding. What a great example you have set for others to see and emulate. We commend you for having done this. May the Lord's blessings be with you and all of us as we search and implement new ways of providing for ourselves and others with power and enlightenment. May this newfound energy carry this congregation to new heights, is my prayer. Thank you very much for your efforts and in your showing us the way to do this here in this city. Good morning. I'm Lisa Romney with Rocky Mountain Power, and I'm so very thrilled to be here. This is incredible. I'm going to start with a little bit of the background on Blue Sky because I know it well. This is so near and dear to my heart. We've been doing the Blue Sky program through Rocky Mountain Power for more than a decade. And I know this because I spent many, many hours volunteering at different fairs and festivals throughout communities before I was with Rocky Mountain Power sitting and signing up customers for Blue Sky Energy. And what we're really starting to see is the tangible rewards of Blue Sky because it used to be a question where does it go? How do I know I'm getting clean electrons? That sort of question. And now we're seeing it all over. So you all have joined now just 104 community projects in Utah who've been able to do this. And when you think about the number of customers we have, this is a very select group. And what you're giving to your communities is really a gift. So thank you for doing that. Um, we do have 38,500 Blue Sky customers who help fund these programs. So we really owe them thanks as well that they continue to do this so we can add solar throughout the communities. Rocky Mountain Power, some people don't, you know, you don't think of us as clean energy very often, but we have done some pretty incredible things. The Blundell geothermal plant that we have was the country's first geothermal plant outside of California, and it has grown, it grew again in 2007. We own 13 wind projects and we buy energy from other wind facilities, including the Spanish Fork project in Utah. So we helped enable that project to happen as well. And then we're part of the Berkshire Hathaway Energy family, who is the largest utility owner of wind energy in the United States. Um, the Utah Solar Incentive Program is going to be providing 50 million over five years to help customers install solar panels on Utah homes and on Utah businesses. That's a tremendous amount of money, but I think one of the greatest bits of news is Blue Sky customers are partnering with Rocky Mountain Power to build our first large-scale solar farm in Utah that is set to come in line in 2016 and will be capable of powering more than 500 homes. So we're getting a utility-scale solar in Utah, which is fantastic and very soon. So of everything that I've said, I think the most important thing is on behalf of Rocky Mountain Power, congratulations and Thank you. Um, we're so pleased to be able to donate $74,000 towards this project. And it's incredible what you are doing for your community in terms of education and clean air and a sustainable environment is, is such a gift. So we come here and learn about God's gifts. And it's just incredible that this congregation and community is willing to do this where you live as well. So the church's solar panels, for these of, those of you who don't know, are capable of generating more than 29,000 kilowatt hours of energy annually, which is like powering three homes. So it's, it's sizable installation. We really appreciate your efforts. I didn't know about the roof and all the other things you had to do to get here, but thank you. I mean, it's, it's, it's been well earned and we really appreciate it. So congratulations again. So this is a letter from Bishop James Gonia. He's the Bishop of the Rocky Mountain Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America. Dear people of St. Matthew's Lutheran Church, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 16 through 18. As I read this passage from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, 
I think of you, the people of St. Matthews in Taylorsville, Utah, as you dedicate your impressive array of solar panels. I do not cease to give thanks for you. Your congregation has been a witness to God's amazing grace in the community of Taylorsville for many years. Now you have been visionary in seeing that your building itself is ideal for capturing the energy of the radiant sun <coughs> pardon me, and transforming it into electricity. What a vital symbol of your care for God's gift of creation. My prayer is that the people of St. Matthews continue to be the hands and hearts and voices of Christ, energized to be alive and active in the world. As you celebrate this dedication celebration, St. Matthews Lutheran Church is forefront in my prayers of gratitude this day. Yours in faith, the Reverend James W. Gonya. Okay, the re reason we did a lot of this is for our youth, and so with that in mind, and she's going to turn the system on for us. Maybe. You've seen the light blinking. There you go. Thank you, kiddo. Come on. There we go. Our system's on and running, so thanks to all of you for speaking. Thanks for your power and light. I appreciate the Blue Sky Project. Appreciate everything that you've done. Susan, thank you. Uh, all of you. It's just been wonderful. Thanks a lot for everything. And we're up and running. So uh, let's burn some hamburgers. Let's eat. That's what we do best. <laughs>